Oh, hey there. Are you here for the barbecue? You're a bit early, but that's all right. You can help me set up. Here, you set the table while I start prepping the grill. Oh no, I completely forgot to clean my grill and the party's gonna start soon. But how am I gonna get this mess cleaned up in time? I know, I'll use a drill brush. Hi, I'm John from Drill Brush. Our line of drill powered grill cleaning brushes are engineered to help your grill get ready for barbecue season. Sitting atop a throne of stained wood and galvanized nails is the king of summer, the burger bestower, the hot dog harbinger, the family grill. Before we break out the brushes, we're going to start by opening the grill and removing the grates and burner shields. We'll start by spraying them with some Weber grill grate solution and letting them sit. This will help loosen up all that burnt on gristle. While we wait for those to soak, let's clean the hood of the grill. A dirty hood ain't good, so we're going to use our black brushes to clean up that heavy excess grime. But first, let's install the brush. Simply insert the shaft into the chuck of the drill and tighten until it's secure. If you're using an impact driver, just insert the shaft. Lastly, whenever you're cleaning, make sure you're wearing ANSI Z87.1 rated eye protection. Since we cleared out all the important stuff, let's clean under the hood. There's a lot of nasty buildup under there, so we'll break out the big guns. The black ultra stiff 4 inch can clear off most of the surface. For the hard to reach corners, we'll use a black mini. Now that we've let the grates and burner shields marinate for a bit, we can start cleaning them. When cleaning grill grates, you may be tempted to use one of these. These metal wire brushes are a popular choice for removing burnt on gristle, but they have a dark side. The metal bristles fall out easily and could end up in your food. According to multiple reports, which will be linked in the description, people have suffered severe internal injuries after accidentally ingesting one of these wires. And that's a real buzzkill way to end a barbecue. Drill brush brand brushes, on the other hand, have nylon bristles that are not only food safe, but stay in the brush under heavy strain. Don't believe me? One of our customers used our brush in a device they shouldn't have. As you can see, despite the brush being all flared out, everything stayed intact. So I think that these brushes can handle an ordinary grill. We don't want to get our freshly cleaned grill covered in grease and food bits, so we're going to clean them away from the grill on some cardboard. Use the black mini to get into all the openings in the grates and the burner covers. Make sure the brush is rotating in such a way as to send the grime away from you. These burner shields are corrugated. If your shields are flat, go ahead and use the 4 inch brush instead. Now that the interior components are cleaned and back in place, let's move on to the exterior, starting with the hood. We're going to use a 4 inch medium green brush to get those large surfaces. This hood is made of stainless steel, so the black brush may be too aggressive for it. Because of that, we'll be using a green brush here. If your hood has a temperature gauge that needs cleaning, grab one of the 2 inch whites so you can cook your steaks to perfection. It may not seem like it, but the top of the grill is important too. Use a 5 inch or 4 inch brush to keep the weather from wearing away at it and extend the life of your grill. Next, use a green 2 inch brush to clean off the knobs. When doing this, make sure the gas is off. Otherwise, take the knobs off to prevent them from turning on by accident. For the side shelving, we'll use a green 4 inch. If you have a side burner, take out the grate and use a mini or original brush to clean it out. If your shelf wraps around the grill like this one does, Open up the hood so you can get any built up grime hiding underneath. Now that the business end is clean, let's scrub the structure that holds it all together, the body. You may only dive down here to swap out the propane tank, but between each transfer, the mess down here continues to grow. Open up the doors, remove the tank, and go to town with a black 4 inch. Don't forget to clean the back and sides as well. They may not get dirty that often, but it's worthwhile to touch them up. Wow, we finished this grill up so fast, we actually have time to clean another grill. Here we have a traditional charcoal grill. It may look a bit different than Propane Jane, but a lot of what we're going to be doing is the same. Just like before, we'll give the grill cleaner a few minutes to break up all that cooked on grease. This grill has a hard enamel coating, so we're just going to use the black brushes on this one. Despite the change in stiffness, we're going to do basically the same thing we did for our other one. If your grill has a rack for utensils or condiments and seasonings, you'll find that it collects anything you drop during your summer grill sessions. Get those nasty food bits out with one of our mini or original brushes. Some grills have a warming rack that can't easily be removed. Fortunately, these are often far less dirty than the other grates in your grill. We'll just spray it down with some degreaser and use a black mini to get it back in business. 
If your grill has a smoker box, get it cleaned up with a mini brush. For added reach, use an extension to get deeper into the box. Whew! I didn't think we were going to get that finished in time, but with the drill brush, this chore was a piece of steak. Now for a decision that isn't so easy. Do you want a hamburger first or a hot dog? If you liked what you saw in this video, check out Drill Brush on Amazon. For more tips, tutorials, and Drill Brush product spotlights, subscribe to our channel today and check out our playlist featured here. And from all of us at Drill Brush, happy scrubbing!